animal, vegetable. Is this it? Is this part other. of the show? Ana, anim, animal, vegetable, mineral. I always like vegetable news. Vegetable news. Yeah. That's it then. That's the we topic. We're starting to, with that today. Today is going to be vegetable news. And it's all your fault because you picked it. Well, I mean, I'm down for anything, but. Let's do some vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> down with the sickness? <laughs> yeah. No. Are you down to clown? No. no. I'm not. Okay, okay. I'm not down with anything at all, it turns out. No. I'm down well, with I did only very little. Suggest two things. Well, but of oh. those two months, it was okay. both no. Okay. I mean, that's a hundred percent failure rate <laughs> of being down to do things. DTF? <clears throat> no. No. <laughs> <laughs> Our first topic of the day The famous vegetable, the strawberry The strawberry is Famously not a berry mm-hmm. It's the Swollen re- re- Receptacle Of the, the flower Is it? Like a stamen or whatever Yeah, or something like that stim- stim- Yeah, stomach. not a berry It's not a drooper Really? No, yes huh. God, well, the more you know, the more you know. This is an, <laughs> this is not an educational. It podcast. is. It is. We're teaching people about large fruits and vegetables. So, sorry, the world's <coughs> biggest strawberry. How it, big is it? It's as big as a man's hand, judging from the photograph. It looks very flat. It does look very flat. It, it's not the shape of a strawberry. No, it's squashed. Really, really squashed. It's very, Maybe yeah. that's like a type of strawberry, though. No, I think that's just what they look like when they just grow weirdly Mutually massive. Yeah. Okay. Well, they're yeah, they grow on the ground, strawberries, don't they? Yes. So... In little bushes. Yes. They're very cute. Um, yes. Pick your own. Have you ever picked your own? I have. You Many knows? times. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't always find... Bumhole? Don't always find things <clears throat> that I'm looking for, though. No. Not always strawberries. There. Sometimes you find a bit of treasure. Yes. And then you pop it in your mouth. Well, it's tasty and succulent, aren't they, strawberries? They are. They are. We love them. Very low in sugar as well. Is that true? Yeah. It's insane because they're really sweet, but they're actually low in sugar. It's really? Yeah. I kind of don't believe you. It's true. It's true. Do you want me to Google strawberry sugary sugar? Sugary fruits list. Is strawberry high in sugar? Strawberries are surprisingly low in sugar. Thanks, Google. Considering they are so sweet and delicious, this is what you said. Fruits lowest in sugar. Strawberries make the list. Peaches. I thought they would be one of the sweetest as well. Yeah. It's weird, isn't it? Avocados. Mm. Don't feel like that should be on that list. No. Grapefruit. I could have told you that that's not very sugary. How would you react if someone just, like, in the office... You know, you're walking past their desk. They've got an avocado. You know, say it's Nina, right? Nina sat at her desk. She's like enjoying working, a low sugar fruit. She's working through her lunch. You know, you know, in a in a right hand, she's you know drawing. The Mr. Milo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but it's, but with Trot's face or yeah. something, right? <laughs> sure. Then in her, in her left hand, she's holding a whole avocado, and she just like just takes a bite into it. Really. <laughs> Skin still on it. She's chewing. It's very chewy, the skin. Now she's eating the fucking stone. <laughs> Taking a bite out of it. I've never tried. La, la, la. <laughs> la, 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 la. Uh-huh. It's me being Nina. I'd just be... <clears throat> I mean... You'd just be stood there staring at her, like... But the, it's the same thing about the skin, isn't it? That the skin is... A banana, sorry. You, you can eat the banana skin. People recommend if your banana's going off, you should freeze them, and then you should blend them into your smoothie. So skin and all, skin and all. I know. I, that's what I was surprised by as well. And apparently, it's really good. Other thing about avocados I read this week: they go you, if they only last like a day, right? Yeah, They're rubbish. But yeah. if you put them in water in the fridge, they last like two weeks. That could be. I could have fallen for a scam there. But. Does it have to be water? Can it be water. piss? Oh, <laughs> can it be any? Can it be any? Could it be Monster Energy drink? I'm still could thinking it be about San Pellegrino. Piss. 
You always are, though. Do you think it would be things you'd have to you'd have to have the piss already chilled? Why can't you use warm piss? Well, you don't want to like warm the avocado up, right? To body because that would be bad. Yeah, that'll make it go off quicker. Right. Okay. Do you see what I mean? Also, I I don't necessarily love the idea of infusing my avocado. Would the piss soak With into piss. it if it's still got the skin on? I think you'd... I, even if it didn't, I think you'd still taste it, you know? You'd think it had. Do you know what? I'm going to come into the office next week with an avocado. With two avocados. Right. <laughs> we'll have a control group. <laughs> yeah. One of these has been soaking in my piss for a week. <laughs> one has been submerged in water. Monst- monster Which energy. Which one... And then you do a taste test. I love it. I like avocados. <clears throat> we don't have a toaster, so we can't have not can't a toast have, test. No, no, can't. No, you can't put it on toast. You can't have avo toast in the office. Well, you could microwave some bread. We've never done that. Microwave some bread. We are full of ideas. Life today. hack. <laughs> don't have a toaster. Just microwave some bread. God, we are full of useful <clears throat> shit, aren't we? God, people... we both we have created something new. No, you and I. Separately, what, what? both own the toaster oh. that we saw Ashens and his mate use. Oh, the little microwavable. The little toasty maker thing. It's a toasty, your microwavable toasty maker. That makes toast. Yeah, we can use that. If we're allowed that in to use, yeah, probably. Are Why you still be? talking about the avocado piss taste? Yeah, I'm going to put the avocado in a toasty and make you eat it. Half of the toasty is going to be normal avocado. The other one's going to be Simon's special avocado. Confused. Not necessarily, but we don't know. I'll just put a little bit of salt on it. Well, don't they? Don't they keep avocados fresh with some sort of poison anyway to trans? Because they all, they come all the way across the country, across the country, across the whole world. Across the country, they give us to. <laughs> yeah, they, they grow them in <laughs> Norwich. <laughs> <laughs> they 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 spray them in like ethylene or something, like some some chemical to keep them fresh. Maybe they just didn't know about the water thing. No one tested it. How else Maybe they... the water thing doesn't work. I, we've uh, taken we don't this know if this is even speculative real, speculative idea quite a, quite a long way. I guess you could put them in barrels of water and, you know, transport them in barrels of water. Yeah, like old school, you know, like, or, or, or whiskey. Ooh. Whiskey infused avocado. You know, or rum, like they did with old uh, Admiral Nelson when he was killed when he passed rest in peace big strawberries um <laughs> yeah that's what we were talking about 10 ounces it weighs seven inches long and 13 inches in circumference Bloody curiously hell. missing the thickness dimension since it's so flat yeah um it's basically a, a fucking pancake isn't it yes it's a pancake strawberry which i don't think is a strawberry I think it's a squash strawberry. It's a special strain of strawberry that they've been making at an institute in Israel. When we heard, it was an amazing feeling. I jumped in the car, laughed and sang. Okay. We've been waiting for this for a long time. This man's life is strawberries. Ariel proudly displays his certificate on a laptop. He's not even got a fucking... Didn't even print it out. <sighs> oh my god, the record's been held since uh, 2015, so I guess this is quite an achievement. No, it's not. grow an ugly giant strawberry. This is stupid. Does it taste it? nice, though? That's the, that's the issue, isn't it? Doesn't it doesn't look like it. It's all seed. Look at it. It's very seedy. There is a lot of seeds on it, yeah. I don't think you should be holding it out like that. It looks, looks past its prime. I think it is because I mean, look, there's like strawberry juice on his fingers. Maybe this isn't the it's real on the picture. Turn. I maybe think it's on the is, turn. Maybe this is just a picture of a big one. I don't think so. I don't think the CNN travel. Why? Why is it under travel? <laughs> oh, because it's not in America. Maybe that's why. Six inches. How big's that? <laughs> it's, about, uh... it's it's about. The length of your hand, isn't it? On a on a, a big man's hand, it's about six inches. Sure. From the end of your palm to the tip of so your finger. So it does look finger. like that's right. It's actually. usually about that. That looks about right. Okay. Yeah. 
Good to know. Vegetable news. So someone posted this on the Yogscast subreddit. I saw. Well, they didn't post the link to the Airbnb. I found that and I posted it. But someone posted a meme with um, Frodo and Samwise or something. Yes. Uh, um, the, the, you, do you remember there's this? Did we talk about it before? The giant potato? There's a giant potato in um, Zyla Faigu. Is that somewhere different? In Cyprus. Oh, you're right. That was a statue of a oh, large and that potato. Oh, that was the poo one. Yeah. But this one's lying down. This is in Idaho, which is a state famous for its potatoes. Idaho. <laughs> <laughs> and how's no one made that? They have. So they... this large potato <clears throat> is it's in Boise. Boise. Boise, Idaho. Sure. Hello there, down boy. <laughs> Boise. <laughs> So there's a potato. Marlene. <laughs> He's dead now, isn't he? Uh, He's dead. Well, we see. the longer we do this show, the more people and references that we make will be two things that have the past. Yeah, on. yeah. I mean, it, it's inevitable. It's sad, really. The past of time. Um, so but- it's the potato state. The um, this this large potato you can stay in is owned by the uh, Idaho Potato Commission. Yes. A six-ton potato, an imitation potato. Yeah. And it's been touring states. The lower 48, I believe. On the back of a semi-truck. So not... To not... promote Idaho's potatoes, I guess. Yeah. Not been to Alaska or Hawaii, I'm guessing. So we've got some nice pictures. Um, looks like a big potato. I think it's disappointing that it's never been on holiday. It's never been kissed. It's never been able to get its passport. And get away. Do you know what I'm saying? Just away from the hustle and bustle. Where would it go? Does it need a passport to get to Hawaii? Or maybe it doesn't actually. Or Alaska. Hmm. Who knows? Who fucking maybe knows? Maybe it wants to go to Cyprus. You know, maybe it's seen that there's another lonely oh, big potato. And they fall in love. Yeah. What a story that would be. That would be great. So it, it looks it... like a palace inside, by when the way. It, when it was touring... These the lower forty eight states. Was it also still an Airbnb? Mm. Were people? Was someone living in it as it was touring? No, I guess they had potato based <clears throat> literature inside to advertise the Idaho potato, right stuff. And maybe so it's like, hey, everyone, come to Idaho, see the potatoes. Well, maybe they had some like complimentary crisps in there, or oh, some like like a, ma- a mashing machine where you could mash your own, or mm-hmm. well, that would be a bit awful you know potato inside inside it it's been hollowed out oh that's quite dark isn't it, it? Is really selling itself on a wagon um but okay <clears throat> if you if you can't see this picture it looks a little bit like because it's a tube it's like a little bit like an aeroplane <laughs> view do you see what you mean yeah because it's round yeah um and it's got it's like, like being inside a cylinder yeah it's weird uh, Look at the floor. The floor is just like like chipboard or something, right? MDF. Yeah, there's like a chipboard floor with a couple of cheap-looking seats. And what is that I'm looking at at the end there? Is that a doorway? I, I That's either the entrance or where the bathroom is. Cause it, or maybe that's the bathroom There's a bathroom outside. located in an old grain silo about 50 feet from the potato. Right? Oh, that's awkward, isn't it? In the, you know, what, in the middle of the night, you got to have a pee. You know, you got to leave the giant, the embrace, the womb-like embrace of the giant potato. Go out into the, the cold night of Idaho. Mm, how walk, cold does it get? Walk 50 feet. I barefoot. Don't, I don't think it sounds all that bad. That looks quite nice. Got a tin bath. Uh, nice looking sink. Again, really mm. odd because it's literally a big dustbin. And they've had to build a bathroom in this weird cylinder shape. So you go from the potato, where it's like a cylinder on the ground, <laughs> yeah. to the silo, where it's an upright cylinder. cylinder. <clears throat> it's real, it says on it. Well, it isn't. I mean, No, it's not a real potato. It's, it's not a real potato. It's advertised with the slogan, it's real, on the back of a truck. www.bigidahopotato.com They really had to work hard for that URL. Here we go. I hope Famous so well. Idaho potato tour. The Tater Team. Let's meet the team. Hashtag spicy spud. 
hashtag super spud, hashtag spud racer, and then the backup driver is hashtag tater totter. Why do they have their own <laughs> hashtags? That's their nicknames. That's fucking... Spicy Racer and and, <clears throat> and and Portly Racer. It looks awful, that poor thing chained on. It's like it's, <laughs> it's just like <laughs> some... <laughs> it's gonna break free. It's like a circus wagon. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Oversized load. Tater weight, four tons. If this tater was real, it would take 7,000 years to grow. That is insane. There's tater trivia there, so you're missing out on some red hot tater knowledge. Oh. Six ton potato, it says in the Airbnb listing. Tater weight four tons on Whoa. the website. Well, this. There's a discrepancy here. What's this all about? Well, it's exaggeration, isn't What's it? What's this all about? It's inflation. <clears throat> exaggeration and inflation. Oh, I know what it is. When he was touring, it was only four, but now that they've converted it. You know, he's got a bed, he's got chairs. No, no, no. He's, got... he's just not active anymore. He's now out on the road touring. He's settled. He's sedentary. Locked down. Oh, right. Do you know what I mean? He's, he's just there with like a tin of celebrations. <laughs> 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 yeah. And, a, and I guess a whole load of plumbing and electricity as well. But man, he's let himself go. Yeah. But maybe it's time for him to retire. Oh, my God. Down. Look at the trivia. I know. He weighs... Uh, he weighs the equivalent of 21,562 medium-sized Idaho All Rights Reserved potatoes. They res <sighs> All Rights Reserved the word Idaho in potatoes. I feel like that's... I don't feel like that's allowed. Do you know what I mean? Because that's the name of a place. Do you know what I mean? It's, it is a place, right? Yeah, it's a state, Idaho. Yeah. It says this, this tater would take 7,000 years to grow. To yeah. like the size it is. It is 800 times heavier than the largest potato ever grown, which weighed 11 pounds. Wait, hang on. Didn't we look at the largest potato ever grown? We did. Was that 11 pounds? I don't think they've updated their oh brand Oh, my God. Stuff. Missed, there's the potato tracker over here. We need here. to update them. Is he going to say where it is? It says it's in a parking <laughs> lot. <laughs> where the fuck is this? Is this? This is definitely not. Oh, that's where maybe where the truck is. Oh, right. But the potato is... Do you reckon the truck's lonely now? I miss I miss my potato. Mm. They've got like an apple, one of those um, tags on the potato truck, so you can locate oh, it. Find my giant potato. Oh, my God. Could you imagine if it was in like a junkyard and it had been crushed into a cube? Why would you even say that? <laughs> Why would you even fucking like... say that? Wait, is it, on, is it going to be on the road again? Wait, what year is this? Could you Is imagine this year? someone books the Airbnb <laughs> yeah. to go out for a piss in the middle of the night in the grain the 5th, it's going back on tour. Beep, beep, and then fucking it's chained up and dragging their wife and dog off to the fucking, to, to Phoenix or somewhere. They, they get up to use the toilet in the middle of the night and they don't know that it's moved. <laughs> like, Where's the loo? Oh my God, it is on tour. How are you supposed Hang to on. rent it out Hang then? On. March the 5th. Okay, let's check availability. For when we know it's not going to be, oh, it's marked out. So it, so you could stay there the night before, on the on the fourth. No, 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 you can stay there on the eighth as well. The eighth and the ninth. It, yeah, it comes back. It comes back. They're borrowing it for three days to go on tour. So you can reserve it for three hundred pounds for two nights. Um, the two nights before it goes on tour to um, Louisiana. That's quite a distance from Idaho. Yeah. Do they have a second one? Did they retire the first one and make a second one? That would explain the weight discrepancy. No, but I mean, it's not available when it's on tour. It makes perfect sense. We'll, okay, let's let's have a look at the other dates, right? This isn't March twelfth, right? Available. Not, available not available on the twelfth. March seventeenth is available. Wait, what? Check out only though, because then it's off for like a week and a half. And the tour schedule, yeah, look, it lines up. It fucking lines up. It doesn't up. fucking line up. It it's, does! It's, it perfectly lines it's, up! It's being used every fucking week! The thing's on tour all the time! Yeah, but it comes back. 
it and it rests and then they <laughs> and, and someone stays in it for no a night. i think they've got a second one not at all look look april 1st and 2nd and 3rd right April the 1st. I think it was going mouldy or something. April the 7th. And they could not available. Do it. April or they the 7th. It doesn't check look out right. only. So you can stay on I, the 6th. But I on the promise 7th, you there's more than one. It's gone. It's got to be two. No, it, look. Okay, look. April the 23rd, right? Look. Not available. 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th. It makes sense. It makes sense. It lines up with the dates on the tour. I'm shocked that it's still doing. What tour. world do we oh live in? Oh my god! In? Look, you can buy you can buy a little version of the fucking truck. No, oh, it's America. Fifty five dollars. Fucking oh, fucking <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah. uh, oh wow, it looks bad actually, doesn't it? It looks pretty bad. It looks cheap. It doesn't even have like a metal thing on the. Oh, it looks awful. Well, look, some people love this stuff. Dude. It's real. It's not. It's a toy. It's not real. Neither, none of, nothing about this is, is no. any way, no, none of this is real in any way. One review. This truck is amazing. Five stars. That doesn't feel like a fake review either. Only one review. What about fragrances? <laughs> what? Fritz by Idaho. <laughs> They've got some brilliant marketing. Formulated from essential oils and distilled Idaho <laughs> potatoes, this fragrance embodies the irresistible essence of potatoes from Idaho. Wow. Four reviews. See them? I want to see the reviews. I'm not surprised it's <laughs> out of stock. <coughs> Close your eyes. Take a whiff. Potato Farm, take me away. Incredible. Love it the best. Best potato smell ever. I need this in my life. Four five-star reviews for Freets. I cannot I believe that exists. What the fuck is Spuddy Buddy? Spuddy Buddy is nothing if not helpful. Here he is ready to hold your cell phone. Nice. Put your phone in my lap. <laughs> Put your, put your phone in my lap. There was more. There was more things. It was only showing like three. Oh, there we go. What the fuck? Yeah, giant one. How big is it? How big is this industry? Wait, it's as big as a chair. For only 50 bucks. That's great value. Three feet tall. Show your love for Spuddy Buddy in a big way with this giant version of our favorite Idaho potato plush. Can Very you good. imagine... Can you imagine having that in your house? It looks a lot like Mr. We love Hanky, potatoes. Doesn't it? It's got it's like the Christmas poo. It does it's got a like, bit like the Christmas Mr. Handy. Oh my god, there's a sauce holder as well. <laughs> Hand sanitizer. Is this going to be made out of potatoes somehow or is it just branded? It's just branded. It's got potato on it. <laughs> Uh, state of Idaho shaped cutting board. <laughs> okay, so Idaho is not a square, rectangular shaped state. Um, so it was, yeah, it's roughly it, a triangle. Yeah, there's a lot missing from the cutting board. Doesn't look like it would be very practical. Um, that is astonishing. That is absolutely astonishing. What a terrible product. Absolutely fucking awful. It looks like it, there's been an, an accident, <laughs> doesn't it? It looks like, yeah. It looks like you'd find this after someone's house had burned down amongst the you know, ashes. Yeah. You'd be like, well, this isn't usable for any cutting purposes. I might as well just throw this in the bin. That is crazy. It's weird because it's got like, you know, the, it's got two straight lines. Yeah. One almost straight line. Kind of a face on that side, isn't it? You oh, see? yeah, a little bit. But then it just has this massive wedge taken out from whatever fucking state it is in its next Idaho. No idea. No idea. My geography is bad. Kentucky. Could I guess? Do you want to guess? Well, Idaho's in the Midwest, right? I don't know. I'm not I've... American. Don't cheat. Montana, Montana, 
Oh, it's Montana. Oh. Wow, Montana really fucked over Idaho when it came to the state lines, didn't it? Think, look at that. I mean, Montana's already got Fucking three hell. straight lines. Oh, Couldn't look they at have Wyoming. Just another oh, one? look at that. Look at the shape. That would make of a Wyoming. great cutting board. That would be a fantastic cutting board. <laughs> <laughs> so, Lewis, mm-hmm. to finish off our vegetable news. I feel like you haven't got one. This is going to be a reach. Okay, this is going to be a reach, but I think we can do this. Don't worry. Okay, so a very a very common vegetable is the pea, right? The pea, the humble pea. The garden pea. pea. Oh, I forgot. The small spherical green fella. Mm. And of course, and his many friends. You can have you can have you know fresh peas. You can have tinned peas. You can have frozen peas. You can. This new story is about a frozen pea. The P stands for penis. <laughs> it's about a frozen penis. <laughs> so there's been the Winter Olympics. Games. Yeah. Remy, like the rat, rat. from Ratatouille. <laughs> Has suffered a frozen penis yeah. in mass start race. Now, what the fuck does this mean? So, I mean, apparently this this isn't even the first time this has happened to him. To him? This has happened to him before. His penis has been frozen. Also, what does it mean to have a frozen penis? Mm. Like, what does, that, what does that mean? That's what I'm wondering about as well. Does it, I think it means he's got frostbite on his penis. Right, that, feels, that sounds bad. That sounds really bad. Why is he not wearing, like... Like a small heated cup. Well, especially if he's experienced it before. A willy warmer. Well, I'm worried. Well, obviously, these guys are trying... They have to wear that skin-tight stuff Mm. for aerodynamics. Yeah. Right? And it's all tied in. Very... It's all... It's it's like vacuum-packed. Right. You know? Yeah. It's like a a pack of sausages. It's like when Trot was in the, um, the vac bed thing. Yes, only naked. But, but and except for a very thin layer of like recovering you. Right. Okay. So, I mean, he's, it's not like, I don't think he's probably even wearing pants. Feels like I'm wearing nothing at all. Well, but you, you there, this is common. I, I, I'm glad that oh athletes, God, I thought, I thought you were going to say you've had it, are being frozen. No. When he said, I, 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 I've, I, I've I, had I, this. <laughs> <laughs> My penis has been frozen. No. I'm glad that men's penises are getting frozen because I'm sick of seeing them through their lycra. I don't need to see your cock and balls. Have some... I know these people don't care. It's like if you're a fucking five... uh, If you're like a cross-country long-distance runner, Mm. you're just pooping and pissing on the side of the fucking... Yeah. No! Let's just not have that. There are certain things you have to accept. Let's just organise it that everyone has a little stop for a poo break every five miles or something. You have to be comfortable. Come on! Let's be reasonable. You don't have to do this to yourself. But people do. They, they put themselves through this crazy regime and they inject themselves with, like, young boys' blood to, like, give them more energy and stuff, like Lance Armstrong was doing. Or Peter Thiel. Yeah. Yeah. And, and they want they want, they want, to, they, they want to win. And they're willing to do anything, like freeze their own penises off. Oh, my God. Well, I suppose it is... I've set him off. The fact is this happened before. Yeah. And he obviously was like, ah, my, my penis was frozen. Is that a thin accent you're doing? Do you want there? to do a better one? Ah, I can feel in my lycra pants, my winky is all twinkly and numb. My winky was a little bit frozen. <laughs> I had to have a, a heat pack put on my winky wook <laughs> so it didn't uh, freezy froze off. <laughs> That's that's what I imagine. But why has he not learned? Does he not value his penis? Well, if he... And how many other people are too embarrassed to speak up about their penises being cold? If he were Mm. to lose his penis, he would be more aerodynamic. So maybe he's just like, if it happens, it happens. Right. Drekki's like already a father of three and he's like... I was going to get a vasectomy, but I may as well just let my penis freeze freeze off. Um, I mean, do you think, first of all, obviously, maybe if he wore like a big 
warmth sock on his penis, everyone else would laugh at him in the Olympic Village. They'll be like, oh, oh, oh yeah, oh, look at look at little boys scared of having a frozen penis. You pussy! <laughs> like, exactly. I just don't want my dick to freeze off. I mean, he's already and the fact just the fact that he's already had his dick freezing nearly off once. What are we talking about? Has he just got a cold dick or has he got like a serious injury? Is this bad? Okay, so um, the details of the news article, which we've not gone into. We should have done. We should have started um, it again. So originally this was going to be a, a 50 kilometre race, but it's been shortened to 30. Right, why? Maybe because the conditions were so bad. Okay. Uh, there was howling freezing winds. Which led to his penis become frozen for the second time it was after an hour a similar and 16, incident. Hour and sixteen minutes in the cold weather. Yeah, they don't wear very much. So in his home country, he suffered a similar. Why are they incident. all wearing these lycra fucking things? It's cold. Well, I guess if you have several layers, then it's it can be warmer than just wearing like a single really big like fur coat. I would like so, to see them wearing that though, like proper like. Like woolly hats, and like you know, full. They should wear like a certain amount of clothes, you know, like like a boxing weigh in. They should weigh a certain amount. Right. At the start. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So with like a, if there's like a handicap race, if there's like a really good, you know, skier, do they like wear heavier things to slow them down a bit? I don't think they need like the, the 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 best ones in the world need more penalties. I think the, what they need is just the thing is like all they would do though if if you added like a rule like that, everyone would just wear like a massive helmet or something and still have their fucking cock out. <laughs> they wouldn't even bother. They'd love it. They love having their dicks out on doing this thing, so everyone sees them. They're all just like fucking showing it off. I swear, it's just an excuse to be like a flasher. Okay. Also, maybe it gets the women in. I know a lot of old women oh who watch God. these things just to see the athletes. Oh, pass. you can see the outline of his cock. <laughs> they do. They love it. These Granny, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, I can't wait for the Olympic Games. Oh, he's a big boy. Oh, you can see the outline of his cock and balls real oh, good oh. through his lycra underpants. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. It's disgusting. I'm, I'm, am I the only one who thinks this? And why am I going mad? I think it, uh, yes. Okay. I think yes. I think yes. Yes to both. I don't like the the fact that he, he put the heat pack on his on his penis on his appendage, and then as it started to warm up, it, he says the pain was unbearable. <laughs> That's not nice because you know if you've ever had a bit of you know a little just a touch of frostbite, maybe on your fingers, and you know you put them by the fire. It does fucking hurt, and imagine that on your cock. That's not nice, is it? We shouldn't be we shouldn't be having people get frostbite. Do you know what I mean it's good of them to actually shorten the the race by like half? Mm. But just wear more sensible clothes, guys. They're basically wearing swimsuits, except every single part of their body's covered. No, look, that's a great picture, isn't it? By the way, half of it's not there. It's just it's covered. What even is that? What even is that? Look, I can definitely see that guy's cock and balls. Look at that guy there on the blue. You see what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, you can see his cock and balls. Yeah. I'm just saying... And he's quite a distance away. You can definitely see, you know, there's a, a small bulge and then there's a, like a slightly larger bulge to the, the side yeah, to and, the... and lower down. <laughs> like, yeah, that's, where, that's one of his balls and that's his cock. Do they, do they suffer shrinkage in the cold? I'm sure it's at a certain shrunk standard. Yeah. I'm, what are you saying? It further shrinks as he gets colder and colder. Maybe I mean, that's, that's awkward when everyone can see it as well. I mean, but it doesn't matter. Everyone, you know, as it goes like, it's cold today, isn't it, lads? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, it's real cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. I'm not cold at all. <laughs> oh, Klaus, what do you like? They call him the tripod. <laughs> he leaves three tracks in the snow. <laughs> what rating would you give this episode? Oh. Um, like, like the quality of the news. I'd not give it the, uh, us. a silver medal. A silver medal. 
Not bad. It's not it's not, not gold bad. standard material. <clears throat> We've done all right. It's good quality peculiar portions. Do you want to just be on the podium? No, no, I'm on the podium. Do you want to just give you the gold medal? No, silver. Sold silver medal. Sure. Um, congratulations, da, da, Simon da, da, Lane da, da, of England, da, da, for da, 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 this fantastic da, da, performance da, 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 here da, da, at the da, 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 Podcast da, 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 Olympics 2022. Da, 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 Simon. Sa- <laughs> they just end the episode there. <laughs> <laughs>